Well, to no one's surprise, Coach, it is a snowy afternoon in upstate New York as you get a peek at New Era Field in Orchard Park. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the Buffalo Bills. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And if you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That one is caught by Hunt. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. On play action, Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. To give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So, Charles, the season winding down, the playoffs obviously not in their future. As they look ahead to the offseason, what spots do they maybe need to fill? Well, I think that they like the guy who's calling the plays and throwing the ball. I think that he's a pretty good player. Need some help, I think, on the perimeter, though. Help him out with receivers because I think if he gets an upgrade there, his play gets that much better, too. Now it's Rodgers. Wide open receiver complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Rodgers now to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Throwing now is Rodgers. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Come on, 
A play fake. Now Kelly. Under pressure now, and they get to Kelly. Shaq Lawson make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Kelly. Going to go to Clement here out of the backfield. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. 53, Mike, Mike. He's tied to you. He's tied to us. Let's go. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on, right, and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Todd Gurley with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. From the 29, Rodgers throwing left side here, and it's complete. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. The catch, deservedly so, is going to get a lot of credit, but even more so because there's a defender there ready to make a play. Yeah, just flat out muscled on that one. They'll run on first down. It's Hunt. And he's got some space here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000-yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game. Plus a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. One yard game. Brings up second and nine at the Rams 41-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. To throw, it's Rodgers. It's hauled in by Lee Smith. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A gain there of 21 yards. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, he usually gets it done. And they'll get this down to the 10. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. First trip to the red zone for the Bills. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Flush to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. 10, 5, and he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. 
partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Strip that ball. Back north. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. 21-0, our score after one. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On first down, Hunt. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Hey, 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 let's calm down. Hey, let's go, let's go. Let's calm, calm, calm. Hey, let's get that ball again. Let's get that ball again. Rodgers now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Now it's Hunt. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. High throw, but the catch is made. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. 
He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. That seemed like a much-needed touchdown after 21 unanswered points to start the game. It's not often that you equate a football game to a golf tournament, but it's like you don't want to shoot yourself out of the tournament too early. So they needed that touchdown to make sure that they got an opportunity to not just get back into this game, but a chance to win it later if they continue to play well. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Ready, ready. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have, and think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. On second and 11 now. Kelly. Wide open receiver complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. On first down, it's Kelly. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. Ready, ready. First down. 53, 53. I got you, From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Trent Murphy able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Kelly. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. From the gun, Kelly. That's taken in by Hanson, complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. And Zerline's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. From the 27, Rodgers. 
Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Line it up, blue 58. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. Run. Motion, motion, motion. Check three, check three, check three. They'll run on first down. It's Hunt. And the ball is knocked out. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Bills cut into that lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner rat. Take that out. Make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him with contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. Well, I don't know if that helped him with contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super tall. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Rodgers going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Throwing again on second and ten. Rodgers. There goes a deep ball. in, And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. Thought he had the pick. Flag comes in for P.I., so cancel it out. Interference. Oh, the killer for them. Thought they had a nice play. Instead, they'll be marching off yardage against them. They'll try to run with Hunt. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. I know the scouting report on him is that he didn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Kareem Hunt, his 17th touchdown now on the season. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Hauschka with the extra point, and that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. This quarterback now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Hey, Delta. You draw Corker. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. In for the score. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Complete, Smith has it. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. 
on the ready. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is, don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. There's Kelly to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back? And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. 16-yard touchdown as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Hauschka adds the extra point, and the lead is down to a field goal. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Being chased out left. And all the way down to the 37. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. We know he's got the arm, but watch out for those wheels. Kind of harkens back to guys that used to call the scrambler and the dodger. This guy can make it work with his legs. Field opened up. He took advantage. On first and ten, Kelly. His throw incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Now Kelly to throw on third down. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Ben Broniker, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Zerline connects on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Now they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. On first down, they go right back to Hunt, pushing forward for three up to the 48. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Well, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? From just shy of midfield, Rodgers. And yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 
22 yards there, a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Corey Littleton gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. On the delay, here's Hunt. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. As his guys are in for six. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route. Whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. At the 24-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Open man is Hanson. And down he'll go at the 25. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Set, ready? Eight, three. Check, 53. I know why this team showed up. Get it. On second down, Kelly is going to fire one deep. Middle of the... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 20, 10, touchdown, L.A. A big play there. 81 yards. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now the ball comes loose. Call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. 
picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defense coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now. Because he saw that happen during his coaching career, and he grabbed the quarterback. And, and that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A big play there. 81 yards. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. If they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. On second and seven, Rodgers. They'll go screen here to Hunt. off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a gain of 34. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. From the 36, Rodgers firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Back now watch in out, Buffalo. Watch out, watch out, watch out. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. From the 17, Rodgers. And it's incomplete. Kareem Hunt is running back, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line.
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. First down, Los Angeles. Let's go One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 40. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Here's Henderson, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Just like that. Just like that. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Five. To throw is Kelly from the gun. He'll throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game. Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. Jerry Hughes on the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. 
Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in more. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. To throw is Rodgers, operating from the gun. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And my goodness, another interception. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Kelly on third and two. Going to go to Clement here out of the backfield. The 20. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here.
Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Rams, a final win here means they'll finish at 14-2. and two. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, it's been a sinking ship all season as they finally draw the curtain on what'll be a 1-15 year. And you have to figure that this is a team that will look a whole lot different come training camp next July. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.